start getting hungry to get up on stage in front of their peers because they, they, they need, want, uh, uh, are, are begging for outside you know, ideas to help them grow. You know, they want to be challenged. So being able to get to the point where you can take criticism is a huge mark of your maturity as an artist. And that goes for Stephen Sondheim. I was just talking with Sue beforehand that uh, when we were developing this play, he would, he would, he would ask us, is this, is this too fast? Is this too slow? Is, it, is this retard working for you? Well, what can we do to help you? It doesn't feel honest enough to me. It, it doesn't feel organic. Help me. He would, he would ask us about help on lyrics. Um, he, he was, he's incredibly humble. And he's always growing. He's a, he's a, he's a lifelong student. And that's why, he, um, that's why he's the brilliant person that he is. He's, he never stopped listening to other ideas. And of course, he, he steals from all over the place. And then he creates his own unique blend. Okay? That's what you guys need to do for the rest of your life. Bob, I remember a story you told me once. I think you were doing uh, Sunday. I forgot what it was. But it was, uh, as you were rehearsing, you went up to him and you said, you know, see, this is, this is gorgeous. You know? And he turned to you, if I'm right, and he said, he was deeply moved. And he said, thank you, because no one ever tells me. Oh, that I'm, that my work is, he, he's as insecure as we all are. Yeah. And you yeah. said, you, you complimented him, and he was like, like, thank you, that no one ever tells me that. I yeah. don't know, but my it's, work it's, is It's good. incredible how vulnerable these people, they're as vulnerable as you are. Exactly as vulnerable as you are. No matter how many accolades they've gotten, no matter how many awards they've gotten, they start at zero every time. What's my goal? What's my objective? What's my obstacle? Oh, everybody starts to say, we have a famous story about, about, about Ralph Richardson, who was a famous uh, English actor back in the day when, you know, Anthony Quayle and uh, Laurence Olivier and, and uh, Alec Guinness were all, all part of the Royal Shakespeare Company, and he was doing Hamlet, and he was, um, no, I'm sorry, it was, it, was, uh, it was John Gilbert, it was John Gilbert, not Ralph Richardson, and he was, he was in the middle of rehearsing Hamlet, he was walking around the room, and he was, he was looking for something, and, and he couldn't find it. It was like he was looking for a contact lens or something, and then the other actors, he was like Sir John at that time, and then they said, you know, Sir John would... Can we help you? What are you looking for? He said, yes, he said, he said I'm looking for my talent. He said, since we've lost it. He said, it's a little, little tiny, shiny thing. And I said, we seem to have lost it. He said, that stage in rehearsals where he felt like an idiot, right? The lines weren't his yet. They felt like somebody else's lines. He was still in that process of, of the character coming to him and him coming to the character. And everything was feeling false and clunky. And, you know, they all, it all happens to all of them every time they start something new, okay? Which is really wonderful. They, they take their pants off one leg at a time. You know, they're human beings. They're just flat out human beings, okay? In other words, they don't fly out of them. They're not gods. <laughs> Puzzled at the metaphor. All right. <laughs> okay, so who, um, who wants to, uh, come on up. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs>